Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome back to the Glow Pilates Studio channel. I'm Julia, and thanks for joining me for this 20 minute Pilates for Desk Posture Mat class. In this class, we will be focusing on mobilizing our spine and neck, as well as undoing some muscle tightness after long periods of sitting. When you're ready, roll out your mat and come onto all fours. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over knees, arch your spine and look up. Round your spine, gaze towards your belly button. Let's inhale as you arch into cow back and exhale as you round into cat back. Let's go for a couple more sets. Come back into your neutral spine. Bring your right shoulder towards your right hip and shorten the right side of your waist. Continue on to the left side. Exhale, side bend to your right. And exhale, side bend to your left. Let's go for a couple more sets of happy dog. Think of a dog wagging its tail. And come back into neutral. Set your right fingertips behind your head. Open that right elbow towards the ceiling and then close your elbows together. Inhale to twist open and exhale to twist close. Try to use your bottom arm to push away from the floor as much as you can and keep that bottom elbow straight. Let's reach your straight right arm to the ceiling this time. Inhale past your vertical line and thread this hand underneath your left, setting your ear, cheek and shoulder to the floor. Look up to the ceiling, push away from your left hand and feel this deep twist. When you're ready, Unwind that right arm to the ceiling once again and circle back towards your hips and down to the floor. Let's switch to the other side. Left fingertips behind your head, open that elbow and then close elbows together. Inhale, twist open. Exhale, twist close. Keep pushing away from the bottom arm to find a deeper twist. And let's reach your straight left arm to the ceiling. Try to inhale a little further and exhale, thread it underneath your bottom arm. Ear, cheek and shoulder on the floor, look up and push away from your right hand. Slightly shift your hips back to unwind to the ceiling. Reach this arm as wide open as you can and circle back and down to the floor. Sit back onto your heels and reach your arms long in front of you for child's pose. Take a couple of breaths here and when you're ready, Tuck your toes and pike your hips into downward dog. Take a couple moments to feel your heels as close to the floor as possible, finding length through your hamstrings. Begin to march, bending one knee at a time, deepening the length behind each leg. Try to keep pressing your hips as far back towards the heels as you can. And let's transition to some double heel raises. Rise to your toes and drop both heels. Inhale, rise to the toes. Exhale, drop the heels. And 
let's keep the heels down. Step your right foot forward between your hands and come into your runner's lunge. Try to drop the hips as low as you can with a very straight back knee. And when you're ready, begin to shift slowly forward and back, deepening the stretch through the front of your left hip. Pause in your shift back, drop the back knee, untuck the toes, and bring two hands onto your front knee. Use this time to press your hips more forward, bend your front knee deeper, and if you feel unbalanced, feel free to reach your arms behind you, interlace your fingertips, and arch your chest for a deep shoulder opener. If your shoulders are healthy, you can also bring your clasped hands to your left hip and add a twist towards your right. Do what feels right for your body. Whatever position you're holding, let's unwind. Place your two hands on the floor inside of your right foot and come into lizard pose. Allow that right knee to open as wide as it can go, rolling over your pinky toe. Your option is to stay here, or you can add a press from your right hand into your right knee and look up to the ceiling. Whatever version you're choosing, let's take one more breath there. And then slowly transition back into your downward dog. Either come back to your marches like before, or feel free to bend both knees, lightly releasing your heels, and then straighten the legs and bring the heels closer to the floor. I suggest taking an inhale as you bend your knees, and use your exhale to press back. When you feel ready, let's step your left foot forward into your runner's lunge between your two hands. Try to keep your back knee as straight as possible and hips as low as possible as you begin to shift back and forth. Feel the length through the front of your right hip. Pause in your shift back, drop your back knee, untuck your toes, and set your two hands on your front knee. Breathe into your deeper bend of your front knee, scoop of the belly, and tuck of the tailbone. You can stay as you are or reach your arms behind you, interlace your fingertips, and come into an arch of the chest. You're also welcome to try to bring your hands to the right hip as you twist towards your left. Listen to your shoulders. Let's unwind. Place your two hands inside of your left foot on the floor and open that knee to your lizard pose. Decide which variation works best for you on this side and keep breathing into your deep hip opener and piriformis stretch. Let's take one more deep breath in whatever pose you're choosing. And then slowly come back into your downward dog once again. Feel your longest backs of the legs here so far. Rise onto your highest toes Soften your knees to the floor, untuck your toes, and sit back into child's pose once again. This time, let's reach your arms to your right diagonal. Pull away from your hands and sit deeper into your left heel. Breathe into the left side of the body. When you're ready, transition to your left diagonal and find some more space between the ribs on the right side of the body. Come back to one more breath in your centered child's pose. 
And when you're ready, make your way down onto your mat, face down, straightening your legs behind you. Take a moment to hover your chest and bring your arms into a goal post position by your ears. Lift your chest, see the horizon, and lower back down. Inhale to your chest lift, exhale to lower. Keep going, doing your best to lift from your upper back muscles versus from the shoulders shrugging up to your ears. Hold your next chest lift. Reach your arms behind you towards your feet and take both feet off the floor, matching the hover of your legs to your chest. Lower everything halfway, widen your arms. Inhale, lift legs and chest. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. One more time into your flight position. Lower the feet back down, lower the chest, and step your hands outside of your mat for Cobra. Keep your fingertips on the floor as a light support for your chest lift. Gaze towards the horizon and roll the shoulders down and back even further. Resist to lower your chest. Step your hands underneath your shoulders and passing through Cobra, try to lift a little higher into your swan. Let your parallel elbows take you back down. Inhale through Cobra. Use your arms to lift higher for swan. Exhale to lower back down. Let's go for one more swan position, working at whatever level works best for you. And let's come into one final simple chest lift. Reach your arms behind you, interlace your hands, and reach towards the feet for your deep shoulder opener. Unclasp, come back through your highest swan, pause at the top to tuck your toes, Hover your thighs off the floor for up stretch and slowly hinge your hips back to your downward dog, your longest hamstrings here so far. Rise to the toes, soften your knees and transition to a seated pose at the end of your mat. Keep your knees bent, stack your spine tall and take behind your knees with your hands. Exhale into your C curve. Inhale, restack tall. And exhale back to your C curve. Let's repeat this a couple more times, scooping your belly towards the spine. Hold on to your next C curve and reach your arms forward for a couple of breaths to press your shoulders down. Keep those shoulders pressing down as you reach your arms to the ceiling. Exhale, reach them forward. Inhale, raise the arms. And exhale, reach forward. Couple more of these to challenge your upper abdominals. And keep those arms raised as you slowly roll all the way down to the floor. Step your feet a little closer towards your sitting bones. Exhale, round the spine and lift your hips to your bridge. Exhale, reverse that path to neutral. Exhale, curl the pelvis, lift the hips into your bridge. Exhale, articulate back down into the floor. Keep going for a couple more articulated bridges. Be ready to stay up in your next bridge position and take a moment to bend your elbows, pointing your fingertips to the ceiling. Let's come into some hip dips. Lower your hips halfway and lift back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. 
Try to connect into your glutes and hamstrings a little deeper with this motion and keep lengthening your lumbar spine. Stay up in your next bridge and let's now come into some heel lifts. Heels lift, heels lower. Inhale lift, exhale lower. Option here to reach your arms fully to the ceiling or keep your elbows on the floor. Let's transition into some running. Drop one heel at a time, but try not to drop your hips as you breathe naturally. Lower your heels. Control your descent back onto the floor. And let's hug your right knee into your chest, extending your left leg long. Take a moment here to interlace your fingertips below and behind your right knee. Straighten your leg and pull it towards you as far as you can. Add some circles of your upper ankle, slow and steady. And keep pulling the leg towards you with as straight a knee as you possibly can. Let's reverse those ankle circles. Flex your foot and point through the toes. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Just a couple more flexes to deepen your stretch. And find a little pull of the leg towards you before you hug this knee to your chest again. Place your left hand on top of your knee. Open your right arm and pull this knee into your supine twist. If your neck feels all right, keep it turned over the right shoulder for a couple more breaths in this twist. When you're ready to return, use your abdominals to come back onto your spine. Hug this knee to the right side of your rib cage for a moment and then switch. Left knee to chest. Interlace your hands below and behind your left knee. Extend this leg to the ceiling and start to pull it towards you. Add in some slow ankle circles with this foot and try to keep your knee as straight as possible in this position. Let's reverse your ankle circles. And we'll come into a simple flex of your foot, heel reaching to the ceiling, and then point the toes to the ceiling. Inhale, flex, exhale, point. Try to keep that knee straight. And leaving your toes pointed to the ceiling, give this leg an extra pull towards you. Then bend that knee. And let's leave the right hand on top of this knee as you open the left arm. Pull this knee across your chest to your right and turn your head to the left. Use your abdominals to come back through center. Bring this thigh to the left side of your rib cage for a moment. And let's hug both knees into your chest to help you rock and roll up to sitting. Come to a comfortable seated pose so we can finish our class with a deep neck stretch. Use your right arm to tilt your head to the right. Extend your left arm long, wide fingers, wide palm. Start to deepen your side of the neck stretch as you lower your left arm to your stretchiest diagonal. Flip your left palm back, bend your elbow, and set your hand behind your low back. Turn your face down towards the floor and think of hugging your chin to your chest. 
Feel free to add a little bit of movement through the head or simply hold and breathe. When you're ready to release, allow the right fingertips to help the head come back through center and use your left arm to tilt your head to the left. Reach your right arm long, wide fingers, wide palm and deepen the side of your neck stretch by lowering the right arm to your stretchiest diagonal. When you're ready, flip your right palm back, bend your elbow and set this hand behind your low back. Turn your head to face the floor and hug your chin closer to the chest. Either pause and breathe or add some gentle movement through the head to let your neck stretch travel. When you feel ready to release, allow your left fingertips to guide your head back to center. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. I hope you feel a little bit more open and longer through your body. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to this channel for more future content and give this video a like or a share. See you in the next one.